Hey guys, in this video, we're going to tell you what it was like to stay at the Florida Super RV Show. We were there for four days and we got to see a lot of RVs, but we also got to see a lot of YouTubers and such. So it was really kind of a fun event. And right after this, we'll be right back and we'll tell you all about it. So RV Caravanners, we are a subset of volunteers for Habitat for Humanity. Hi everybody, we're here at the RV Super Show having a great time. All right, now we're back and we're gonna tell you about the Florida RV Show. The inside story. The inside story. <laughs> the inside story. Because we were inside. We stayed right. We right stayed at, right at the uh, fairgrounds. Right. We, within a few RVs from us, there was driving and vibing, traveling Robert, RV love. There was a lot of YouTubers right there. Right. Right. And we got to meet a lot of them too. We kind of ran into traveling Robert. Yeah, we get, ran into Traveling Robert a couple times. We ran into him one one afternoon at the uh, RV show and kind of crashed his uh, live stream video. Right. <laughs> I mean, I turned around and I go, Traveling Robert. Yeah. So I just walked over and started talking to him. Meet you. Hi. We're Zephyr's Travels. Zephyr's Travels. All right. We are live on YouTube right now, so say hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we went to the after party. Right, that was held on Thursday evening at the Wing House, which was located right across from the fairgrounds. So we're at the RV after party over at Wing something. The Wing, <laughs> the Wing House. The Wing House, that's it. And we've been kind of walking around and we've been meeting a lot of the RV YouTubers. And so we got to talk to Robert. Yep, Traveling and, Robert. Traveling Robert and the Getaway Couple and RV Love, Bark and Julie and the Morton's on the move, um, Tom and Kate, and uh, we got to see Mike and Jennifer on a Harley. Right. <laughs> yeah. Mike and Jennifer, wait, uh, what's her name? Wellen. Wellen. Wellen, yep. And there's been a big crowd around uh, the... Um, Less Junk More Journey. Yes. Marissa and Nathan. Yeah. We also got to meet JJ and yep. saw Hensley running around. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So that was a nice event. Yeah. Um, and we saw Kyle. He was playing his guitar from Driving and Vibing. Right, right. He was the entertainment for the night. And of particular, just because we have one, were the Airstreams. And again, this year they were inside one of the buildings. Yeah. So we got to look at uh, the different models, including the new classic 30 foot with the all white interior, yeah. which was very nice. Yeah, I mean, we'll show a little video of that. Um, but we also have a video that you can see where we did a complete walkthrough, so check that out. Mm -hmm. And then they have big buses inside as well. Oh, the million, the $2 million uh, yeah. Prevost buses. Right, yeah. so we toured, you know, two or three of those. Yeah. And of course, for $2.3 million, they were very nice. Not much to complain about when you when you walk through something like that. That's for sure. Right, they were very well uh, the decor and very well um, the inside the furniture and the lighting fixtures and the flooring and you know yeah. it was most of them were absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and there was a lot of nice uh, RVs that we found on the outside too that we walked around that we did some videos on that you may have already seen and there's probably a few that you haven't seen that we're kind of working here with a little we'll do a little bit of a montage of videos of some of the rvs that we saw just to give you an idea what it's like to walk through the show Slice and dice all right there. <laughs> Make your dinner outside. The layout, that's really nice. Kitchen first. 
Yeah, it has a really great layout. I love when you walk in and it's not bed, you know, it's right. the table. Right, and then the bedroom section is separate. And, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're here at the Tampa Super Show. We've got three accessibility enhanced motorhomes from Winnebago. Last year at this time, we launched three stock models, and this year we've done some enhancements for 2020. But one thing I wanted to mention about especially vehicles at Winnebago and accessibility enhanced models is we've been building these for really about 40 years. And we got to talk to some of the vendors. Um, we met the folks from Clear 2.0, the water filter system, and they um, they showed us their new products and gave us a one of their um, solid carbon uh, green filters that we've been trying out and we like. Mm -hmm. um, but then we also met the folks from Caravanners, and they're a, a group of RVers who do habitat for humanity and they travel around to different places mm -hmm. and we'll have Lucius tell you about them. All right so we are walking around some of the booths here and I ran into Lucius and, and we happen to be parked next to each other in the fairgrounds and you're with Caravanners. Right Habitat for Humanity RV Caravanners. We are a subset of volunteers for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, many people already know about Habitat, but I'll give you a quick overview. So it was not started by Jimmy Carter, by the way, although, <laughs> although he is an avid supporter. But it, it started in Georgia, and they've been building homes for 40, maybe, probably, maybe 50 years. Yep. So RV caravanners are people with RVs. So we go all around the country. There's two, 300 projects a year, one week and two week projects. And uh, yeah, it's a great time. It's, it's almost like going to a rally. So the job sites are usually, um, you know, you're volunteering Monday through Friday. Sometimes it's Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, sometimes fewer days per week, but that all, you'll, you'll, learn, you'll learn all of that on your webpage or on our webpage, uh, habitat.org slash RV. Uh, some people that are retired and traveling in their RV, maybe spending time seasonally down in Florida or warm climates. And it's like, hey, you're tired of shuffleboard, you're tired of playing bingo, let's go out and build a house, you know? Yeah. So you don't have to be swinging a hammer, you don't have to be comfortable getting on a ladder. You can sweep up, you can clean up, you can be the gopher. Wow, that, that, is, that is a great um, thing to do. Yeah, well, well, we Habitat refers to this as building a decent, affordable home. And I do want to mention affordable in the sense that the homeowners are buying the homes. Right. These are not giveaways. As a matter of fact, the homeowner has to put in sweat equity. That's so true. They, so they are either helping build their home or they've helped build someone else's home. So, I mean, they're committed at this point, right? They've got to have the income to pay for the house. It is typically a zero interest loan, so it's very affordable. But, uh, yeah, it's a neat way for homeowners to get a more stable environment for their family. And, uh, and, and it really gives them a leg up. I mean, you can imagine, yeah, what it's like. It's, it's a life-changing event. Yeah. You, this is our, web, this is our uh, little brochure that we give out. Travel with a purpose. So we think that's a cool catchphrase. Yeah. I'm going to turn my little page over, and I'm going to, you might not be able to see it in the mice type, but habitat.org slash RV. And you will be able to uh, watch a video there. Yeah. You'll be able to look at the drop down list there for scheduled builds, upcoming builds. You can sort that and filter that in a variety of ways to see uh, sort by state, to sort by date. Um, once you click on one of those and you can find the amenities that are offered to you, meaning water, sewer, electric, you can see the cost there. It's usually low cost camping. Uh, you're going to be camped with other RVers. Sometimes you're at a campsite, a campground somewhere. But other times you're in a church parking lot with some with some right. hookups. Yeah, and, and just look at that website and learn more about it. All right, we definitely will. It's been a pleasure to meet you here. This RV show has been a blast, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. has. It has. It's been a lot of fun. So what else did you see you like there? Mm, I like some of the fifth wheels. Yeah. They offer a lot of space inside, and uh, I like the decors. Yeah. They also had some park models. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, yes. we we toy with the idea of what it would be like to live in a small, you know, the tiny house movement. Mm -hmm. And we see a lot of them that are, you know, 200 square feet, 300 square feet. And we've come to the conclusion after touring the park models that 500 square feet is about the right size. Right, exactly. I don't think we could fit in, you know, with us and the two dogs 
and having to downside so much uh, that to, to have something to be a home. Right. I mean, right. we can we earn 200 square feet with a trailer. And that's not a problem, but it's not a home. No, no. Yeah, they were they were very nice. Yeah. And perhaps someday when we get a little bit older, um, that would be something that would be interesting to us. Yeah. It, and an interesting trend that we picked up on that we did a video on was there's a lot of them that, that's kind of going for this overland look with uh, big wheel, big tires and wheels and the bars on the outside of them and mm -hmm. they're adding more solar to them they're right. making them more boondockable um, some of them are just appearance looking you know, i don't think they've really done much change to the rv some of them they you know beef up the suspension a little bit uh -huh. um, they're all different levels so you have to really look at what you're getting into right but that was kind of interesting yeah I, that was very interesting yeah and we're do there's a video of that that we can show you uh-huh you know, not many times you've seen a goat with a Mickey Mouse tattoo on the head. That's really good, man. Let me see that. Oh, turn all the way around. Let me see. Guys, show everybody. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> and the other thing I was going to mention about the show that I thought was interesting is the dogs. Yes. Hello. Is your puppy old enough to be at the bar? Well, she's got a fake ID. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> In dog ears. In dog ears. Oh, well, she's one, so what is that? Oh, seven. seven. Kinda, yeah. yeah, a little young. A little young. Very, very happy dog. Yes, yes. So much, lots of energy. And big Yes. This is actually the puppy. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little part of our January road trip. Um, we enjoy doing it and we enjoy going to the RV shows and sharing that stuff with you. Mm hmm. And if you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along with some more of our adventures, what should they do? You need to subscribe to our channel. That's right. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way you know when we post a new vi video, we post new videos on a weekly basis. And we'd love to have you follow along with us. We would. All right. So until the next time, guys, we will... See you down the road. Bye. Bye.